Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Raw, 33, 34 today. Cloudy, uh, icy out there. Be careful. We had a little coating, another layer of snow, so you might have a layer of ice out there again uh, this morning, even if you shoveled and salted and did all that yesterday, Candy. Yes. Uh, also keep in mind, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. is Luke Combs, presented oh, by Saville right. Ford. Yep, Saville Ford and Island Federal. Luke Combs, 8 p.m. tomorrow night, right here on this radio station. Uh, hour and a half, full headlining set recorded last year in Kentucky. So, uh, going to be really cool. I did preview uh, a few songs, Candy. It's fantastic. Uh, That's it's wonderful. Gonna yeah, it's going to yeah. be nice. Before we get to these unique Super Bowl bets I want to test you on, mm. um, I, I told you earlier in the hour, I watched half of a movie. Yes, not wa- on Netflix. was not Netflix, and I only got through half. I was watching on my phone, because that's where I have the app. It's Apple TV Candy. Oh, okay. And I watched, and, and there was a lot of activity in the house yesterday, so I only got through half. It was the new Justin Timberlake movie. Ah, oh, I see. I haven't seen App- that. I don't have Apple. It's on Apple TV. It's called Palmer. Uh, and that's his name in the movie, Palmer. Um, it is, uh, you know, ju- we know, Justin, this is not new for Justin Timberlake. We know what kind of actor he is, Candy. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. been in a lot of films. Uh, the first half of the movie, which I have completed, uh, he he is fantastic. The guy, he's going to be nominated and maybe win an Oscar one day. Well, I don't know if it's this movie or not, but one day, he is such a fine actor, Candy. Yeah. Um, what a talented really good. kid. A man really, now, I should say. Really talented. I recommend. It's a heartwarming, touching drama. Uh, it's called Palmer. It's on Apple TV. I highly suggest it, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, some unique Super Bowl prop bets for you, Candy. Uh, what color liquid will be poured on the game-winning coach? What color do you say, Candy? I'm going to say like the regular Gatorade yellowish color. Ooh, that's only third choice. Look at that. Uh, Orange is second, and red is number one. Red? I don't usually see red doing that. I see orange or yellow. I agree with you. Uh, Which coach's nostrils will be shown first? Of course, this is mask-related, Candy. Uh, Will it be Bruce Arians or Andy Reid who will show their nostrils first? Going with Andy Reid. Oh, he is also the second choice. So once again, you've picked the underdog. Look at you. Uh, How about this? How many times will Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots be mentioned in the broadcast, Candy? I'd like to say and hope it would be zero, but I'm sure I'm going to say at least a dozen times. Yeah, this one's easy for me. The over-under on how many times Belichick gets mentioned is one, and the over-under on the word Patriots is two. I think both are way over, Candy. I do believe that. I'm yeah. I'm with you. Oh, this is a good one. Which will be higher, Tom Brady's passing yards in the Super Bowl or the closing price on GameStop this past Friday, Candy? Mm, tell me that again. <laughs> the, do you need to know the closing price I, on GameStop? I need to think, yeah. Go well, ahead, tell me that again. Fr- uh, the the uh, Tom Brady's passing yards or the closing price on GameStop from Friday, which was about three fifty or so, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, I'm going with GameStop. Uh, okay, interesting. Okay. Uh, how about this? The Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, will the weekend have any guest performers with him? Remember, it's COVID. Will he have any guest performers? And will he have a costume change, Candy? No costume change. Yes, a performer. Oh, see, I would have gone the other way. I think it's guaranteed for a costume change, I would think. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. You're... Well, you need somebody else to do something if you have to change your clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. That's probably... Does the music just stop and he changes and comes well, back out? I mean... Maybe he's got multiple outfits on and he just starts ripping one oh, off at a time. Goodness. I don't know. And all right, last one for you, Candy. Who will win the Puppy Bowl, Team Fluff or Team Ruff? I'm going with Team Fluff. Of course you are, because you have Tilly. I'm a little fluffer now. Tilly is Team Fluff. That's right. I I agree with you. 
I'm going uh, Team Fluff as well, Candy. I, so so cute. Really. I do think I do think that's. The I could way watch to go. the Puppy Bowl every day. It's every fantastic. Day. It's and adorable. this year, Snoop and Martha are hosting. I know. Could it get better? All right, I'm getting in a better mood now. Just thinking about the puppies. By the way, the only thing that would get better is if Snoop and Martha host the Puppy Bowl while cooking something. You got that right. Dog treats, perhaps. Yeah, yeah Martha maybe. Stewart. I think she sells dog treats that she makes. I'm not Ooh, even kidding. Ooh, good call. I think you're right, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah. That's the hook. There you go. My Country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.